Hey guys, this is Mel Sierra 23 aka Red Fox 23. Um, I'm gonna try something new with you guys. Um, I'm gonna, in honor of Halloween, I'm going to call it Haunter's Haunting Hour, which was like the Pomp Pokemon thing, but it's not gonna be related to that. Because he's my ghost type Pokemon, favorite Pokemon. I'm gonna talk about, um, you know, Halloween stuff. Um, today's topic is going to be about real actual ghost stories and experiences I had with the paranormal. Um, this is all fact, true, swear on my great grandmother's life and I loved him, her dealer dearly with all my heart. I mean, she was the closest person to me. I swear to God, even all my life. Um, so let's uh, start with um, a couple years ago, six years ago. Um, my sister took me to uh, the penitentiary in West Virginia. It's a, uh, a big jail that they had for a long time and then they closed it down, but they started around this time for Halloween. They do tours and stuff. They do ghost tours. It, they turn it into a haunted house. Well, we decided to take a trip up there. Well, down there, I should say, at the time because I was living in Pennsylvania. And we decided to go to a haunted house. She called me up. She said, hey, you want to go to a haunted house? I said, sure, why not? That was the only one I went to. So we went on the tour and everything else. And in the one part, um, I had hoop earrings in. And it was foggy as heck in one of the rooms. And they warned us too ahead of time that the ghost will mess with girls. So they had experience, even the co-workers working there get touched, they hear noises and stuff it's not supposed to. Well anyways, I was with my sister, her boyfriend, my and my brother Miles, and me. Well, for some reason I let go to everybody's hand and everybody was gone. And I was standing there in a the foggy room and I felt something touch my ears like this side of my ear. It was playing with my hoop. And I'm like thinking it was my brother Miles. So I'm like, Miles, knock it off. He wasn't around. Then all of a sudden, as soon as I said that, something black went straight from behind my ear and went straight past me. Like a mist. It was a black mist. It took off really quickly. And then after I said that, I freaked out. I ran out to where everybody was. I lost everybody. And they were like, they were, they thought I was with them the whole time. And I wasn't. So I caught up with them. But that was one of the scariest moments, one of the most scariest moments I had. Um, the one, other one was, um, I had a video on YouTube of my other place. Right across. Um, where I lived. Um, one night. I decided, you know, well, my boyfriend decided we wanted to push the bed into the living room because he wanted to lay down. The couch was uncomfortable. The, the cable was only out in the living room, so we said, okay. So we made and pushed the bed out there and watched television that night. Everything was cool and everything. I, I do have two cats, and they always sleep with me on my bed. So it was all cool. At first, the first night, I just heard a whole bunch of noises. I looked around. That's around tapping noises and everything else. And I was thinking it was my AC, but my AC wasn't working at the time. And my ice machine the box does not work. So I was like, hmm, didn't think nothing of it. The second night, I heard noises again. So I was like, eh. But Suzo said, eh, and closed my eyes again. I heard it sound like running, like massive footsteps running from the kitchen to my living room and stopped in front of my bed. It scared the shit out of me. I jumped. I was thinking maybe it was my cats. My boyfriend was sound asleep next to me. It woke him up in a dead sleep, and he don't even believe in ghosts. He was like, what the hell was that? <laughs> Pardon my French. My cat Ruby was laying all over my legs, and my other cat Bella was snuggled right next to him. So it wasn't my cat, and that freaked me out. Uh, a few days later, we decided to put in uh, the bed back in the bedroom. And I was like, okay, we're going to bed. Let's go to bed. And that same night, I heard it again. It sounded like it ran from my bathroom, which I had a major big ba um, bedroom connected to my bathroom. It sounded like it came from around the corner of the bathroom and stopped in front of my bed again. 
It scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> uh, he woke up again said, Did you hear that again? It's the footsteps. I was like, heck yeah. The very next day, I went to sleep. And um, when I woke up in the morning, I went to the bathroom and stuff from in my bathroom was all over the place. It was pretty creepy. So I think that talking about it gives me goosebumps. I can't, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got goosebumps talking about it. So those are my two, um, well, those are a few of my paranormal experiences. Um, my boyfriend, like I said, doesn't believe in the paranormal. If you guys don't, then whatever. I kind of do in a way. I'm all into the ghost paranormal activity movies, anything ghost related. Um, also, well, I'll tell you one more story, which was really cool. The day before, I, w I had to be at work early in the morning, like at 5 o'clock at night, or in the morning, and it was pitch dark. Well, anyways, the be day before, um, I didn't know this until I went into work, so bear with me. The day before, um, some guy on um, this long street where you, all there is is woods, and there's a long street. It's like creepy. It goes for that for like 10 minutes. Um, this guy killed himself on the road. He was too depressed. He lost his girlfriend. You know, he was too sad. He was probably about in his early 30s. I can't remember what she said. My friend told me this. He jumped in front of a truck and killed himself. Um, the very next day, which was uh, the day I had to go in at work at 5 o'clock in the morning, we're going down the street. And my boyfriend and I were talking, blah, blah, blah. And we're looking straight ahead. And then we were thinking, we were talking about uh, you know, paranormal activity and ghosts and blah, blah, blah. And thinking about Halloween and stuff coming up in a few months we were talking about. Well, a big white orb jumped in front of our car and went right through it. It scared the crap out of him. He was like, he was still amazed and to this day he's still like, I don't, he, he wants to believe it was something paranormal, but he's like, oh my god. <laughs> So, with that said, those are my uh, creepiest uh, things. And also, when I went into work that same morning, my friend told me, Did you hear what happened yesterday? Some guy killed himself. I was thinking, Oh, shit. It sounds like the same thing. It just happened to us. Some, um, something jumped in front of our car, and it was a white orb, and we were like, Holy crap. So when she told me that story, I was thinking of the guy who killed himself. I'm like, that was probably his ghost trying to do it again. And he doesn't know he's dead. She tried to jump in front of our car to kill himself. So, yeah. With those stories said, I hope you enjoyed my little talk with you guys. Since uh, Halloween is coming up, I figured I'd share some things with you. Uh, I still have a couple more um, paranormal things I could tell you, what my friends experienced and everything else. So if you got, I would like to do something like this uh, around the holidays, you know, um, tell you about, um, it's not all going to be about ghost stories, but I could talk to you guys about like past Halloween stuff that I used to dress up as, fun stuff, where I went, what we did, what was going on. Um, Thanksgiving, I like to do that too, talk about you guys with my family. And, and about Thanksgiving and Christmas. So if you guys enjoyed, um, I hope you guys stick around for more of my Haunter's Ghostly um, stories. See you guys. Bye-bye.